What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video and if you've been here a while you know that I am pretty much the number one fanboy for the iPad Pro. When I was a full-time student I used it every day many many hours per said day and I just used it all the time and replaced all of my notebooks, my handwritten notebooks, by this iPad. I love it. I'm a huge 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 fan of the iPad Pro. I personally have the 12.9 inch, the first generation, November 11th, 2000, and I think it was 15 when they first came out. I still have it, or maybe was it 16? I think it's 2015. And I still have have the actual one right here. This is this is the baby. This is this is the prized possession. I don't know why I just took that off. But one of the biggest questions that I do receive in regards to the iPad Pro is what does it feel like when you actually write with it with the Apple Pencil? And the answer was always very smooth, as in there's very little friction, and a lot of people kind of got, got afraid of it. I personally got adjusted to it. It didn't take me very long to get adjusted to it, but there, there is room for improvement in terms of the texture of how you actually write. Lo and behold, a solution. A solution called Paperlite. Shout out to the guys over at Paperlike for sending this, this sample over. And, and you might be asking yourself, what is it? It's a screen protector for your iPad Pro that makes it feel like you're writing on a piece of paper. Or so they claim. I'm about to test it out, check it out, and, and see what the differences are. So I, I think the best way for me to kind of show you guys how it actually how it actually writes and feels like is, is talk a lot. Is that okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a lot. So really quickly, before we get into the actual product, I'm gonna go Notability. I changed my password yesterday, so let's hope I remember it. Nope, that's wrong. I'm gonna go into Notability, which is my favorite app. If you if you haven't seen the video on Notability, it's in my opinion the best note taking kind of app out there for the iPad. It just works very, very well, especially if you're encompassed in that Apple ecosystem. It works great for your Mac and it kind of communicates using iCloud. It's, it's a great thing. So let's go into uh, a new note here. Okay. And I'm just going to write a few things and, and tell you what it feels like to be, to be writing on this. So this is without the, the paper light. Hello, my name is Mark. Okay, so as you can tell, the writing is, is similar to what I would write like on a, on a piece of paper. There is very, very little resistance. It takes a lot more control in the sense of changing direction of the pencil just because uh, th there, there is such a low friction, right? It's a hard plastic tip, a hard glass surface. One thing I do really like about this kind of relationship, I don't know what it's gonna be like with the paper like, but that the pencil is so close to the display and, and what's behind the display. So there's not a very thick glass, which is what I really like. There's no kind of gap between the tip and the actual line that's being drawn. Like I said, no friction, no real kind of resistance. It's very glidey, if that's the right word. Very easy to do. Whereas on a piece of paper, there's a little bit more friction, you know, the, the, the paper squishes wherever your pen or pencil is and, and there's more resistance and it kind of gives you that ability to control it a little bit better. Does that make sense? Okay, so let me try that again. Let me get that in into my head here I make YouTube videos okay so so that okay I got that in my head okay great let's erase that and and here is the paper like I have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro this of course would come you know whatever size iPad you do have that's that's the size you would get so let me really quickly open this up without showing you my postal address and here they are. Okay, is there anything else? Nope. So it comes in this very nice pouch. Oh, there's a letter in here. Hi Mark, I'm happy you're interested to try out the paper like. I hope you like the paper feel as much as I do. Thanks and all the best, Jan. So cheers, Jan. Thanks again for sending this out. And, and here, here it is. So there is, I believe there's two in here. Yeah, so you're gonna have the instructions, which are very important. And, and you're gonna have two screen protectors. Um, ready to use. And first thing you'll first thing I'm noticing is it's very thin. Um, there of course are the two protective coats on, on either side of this, but but it feels very thin. Okay, perfect. And th they also include a few uh, alcohol wipes, a microfiber cloth, and the uh, dust absorber, the, the sticky things that help you get the dust out. Okay, perfect. Installation is gonna be exactly like any other screen protector, and, and the process is exactly the same, so I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you guys how to do this. So that's the majority of the smudges. Maybe do it on like a microfiber cloth or something, but uh, yeah. Long hair, don't care. I have short hair and I care very much, so it's the exact opposite. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and give that a little bit of a rub. Perfect, and um, do I see any dust in here? And just dab this lightly over 
the specks of dust that you might have. So we're gonna take the sticker with the numero uno. I always like to start at the bottom of the device, the one with the home button. Well, then again, I have an iPhone 10, so I don't have a home button on that. But that just kind of gives you a, a few more reference points just to make sure it's all lined up correctly. And very simply. Okay, so this is very simple to put on, very standard. Okay, here we go, the last stretch. Make sure to get those air bubbles out. Peeling off numero dos. And right away, peeling this off, I can see a very nice matte finish. Something that I do enjoy. My display is a matte finish. Um, I wish more things came with a matte finish. And there's very little glare off the, the many lights I do have shooting this right now. And um, let me go and, and open up Notability again. Oh my goodness. This is why you never change password, people. Okay, this is the moment of truth. This is something that could have really, really kind of increased my, my love for this device even more. Okay, here we go. This is supposed to feel like paper. Ready? Wow. 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 Does it feel exactly like paper? Not not 100%, but the the resistance that this thing kind of increases when you're actually using it, it really gives you like literally paper like experience. Wow. That's actually incredible. Oh my goodness. That, that matte finish really kind of, one, brings out, I, I really like the feel of it. It feels much more kind of welcoming, not so cold. The biggest difference that I'm noticing is that the resistance of it coming back, the pencil changing directions. There's actually a lot more resistance between the tip of the pencil and the actual display now. It really does change the way the iPad feels. So my understanding of the development of this product was that this is kind of designed for people who use it for the creative things, such as drawing, sketching, and, and that really kind of is shown here. Like there is a lot better control of your Apple Pencil versus the display. This is great. I'm a huge fan. Okay, let's, let's keep writing something. Describing that to a camera without being able to, to, to give it to you to try it out, I really hope that the way that I kind of portrayed this experience really did give an explanation on, on what this actually added to your iPad. It kind of really takes it from a glossy, very easy, low friction kind of surface to something very, very similar to a piece of paper. And that, that's what the iPad was missing, in my opinion. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. I would also like to take another second to thank the guys over at Paper, like especially John. He kind of really, really made this happen. If you guys are interested in this product, of course, there's gonna be a link down in the description. But for now, thank you very much for tuning in. And for additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description. But for now, thank you, and I will see you on the next one.